Greetings, this is Rob from Android Community, and today we're taking a look at Aviate, which is one of the newer launchers to come available for Android. Currently, this one is still in an invitation-only beta status, and although they seem to be rolling out fairly quickly, obviously you can't just download and begin using. Needless to say, if you do download the app from the Play Store, that will provide you with not only an easy way to request an invitation code, but also an easy way to enter that code once it is received. But that aside, for now, let's just take a look at the basic setup of the app. What you see here, this is your main screen. This is your basic home screen, for lack of a better term. Your, uh, the box along the bottom here, with the two rows of apps, is your favorites. You can do one row, two row, however, however you want. You can drag apps in and out, you can rearrange them in here. That's up to you, uh, based on your preferences. You populate that as you see fit. You can fit up to two rows, up to ten apps. The top portion here is similar to the bottom. It's fixed to this size. I have it broken up between an Evernote widget, a weather widget, and two pictures. Although you can do any kind of you know any breakdown that you want you could have it just as one big image one big widget you know two three however you see fit the the basic concept though is as you add more each particular piece shrinks down to fit so from here a swipe down you'll see your uh, one of the taglines for the app basically how useful information will appear throughout the day a swipe over and you have your different spaces and this is where the app sort of brings that promise of useful information like for us we have our home we have our work and our going somewhere like home you can see it's now with the house and the orange and this drop down there or again just a pull down we can set it for do not disturb which might be good at work or uh, you know, the set an alarm. We have a category of apps, which we'll get to, or I should say a collection of apps, which we'll get to again in a second. And this can be, again, populated as you see fit. Apps can be dragged in and out and arranged. And you also have your weather based on where you are. Closing that up or dragging it. And again, we can go to work, uh, send an email, create a new event, our collection of apps for work, and calendar events that get pulled in. Going somewhere, that you know, similar traffic, home, office for directions, as well as any apps that you might use in the car. And you also have a nearby section, and this, while nice, does bring up one of the downfalls for us. There's plenty of information. You can easily get to the camera, you can post, you can get some tips, you can send them a message, and the check-in. Unfortunately though, one of the options or lack of options here is to customize that check-in. We use Facebook. This one is only Foursquare. You know, later on down the road, if Aviate were to come up with a, a quick setting to adjust that in the preferences, that would be great. For now, just a minor annoyance based on personal preference though. So, from here, go back to your main screen, and then one over, and here are the collections again. As you can see, we have different collections set up, fitness and health, social, again the work, uh, entertainment. And these can be tapped to open or close. Uh, you can hold the name and rearrange them and you can come up here to the top and add new ones. Again, another potential drawback here, the collections are limited to what's here. These can either be selected or not selected, which is displayed or not displayed, and the names are based on what's there. No customization for the names. Again, just a minor annoyance, nothing over the top. Another swipe over, and you have your A to Z apps, basically just an alphabetical listing of all the apps with the ability to tap over on the side to get where you want. So, 
all of that said, AV8 seems like it has a decent amount of potential. We like the app, we like the idea of the app, we like how it works. However, this little number right here in that circle is the one that's going to hold us back from using it. At least in our use case, and from the few people that we've talked to regarding it, battery life does not seem to be all that great on here. It's something to certainly keep an eye on, watch for updates, and uh, otherwise, you know, it looks pretty good. And one other item we want to show before we head out is settings. This gives you, you know, basic options again. It tells you battery life, power, uh, your settings collection. You can put your settings widget there, and this is also where you adjust for light or dark, your basic theme. So going back to the home there, and that's what it looks like as the dark theme. And again, this was Rob for Android Community, and this was a look at Aviate.